hi friend today in this video we are going to discuss about the oracle parameter files and difference between the p file and sp file in oracle as we know p file is a text file and it was used by the oracle till 8i as a by default uh, parameter file because that time sp file was not there and of after that and it is also called as initialization parameter file in the dot ora file by by default if you see it will be in the text format and uh, p file is a, a read of instance startup to get the start, uh, specific instance characteristics if you wanted to see you have to open it uh, in in a vi mode or any uh, if you are you using a unix platform then you have to open it through vi or if you are using a window then you have to open through notepad and there you can see all the instance specific characteristics and that instance and database uh, as instance name and uh, um, sga related all the component parameters will be um, specified over there as an initialization param parameter by the name you can understand but if you wanted to do any changes you you can do it through vi or notepad and then uh, after saving it you have to restart your database then only that change can get uh, reflected uh, it can get affected on the database after the restart but 9 and uh, 9i onward uh, oracle has introduced sp file and oracle recommends sp file over p file to use because oracle file is by default choice of oracle and it it will be in the binary format it contains the same information as old p file sp file permits the dynamic changes without requiring any restart of the instance that's by default if you do not uh, you if you do not specify p file in your startup command oracle will use a server parameter file sp file if you choose uh, to use a traditional text initialization parameter file you have to specify a p file using uh, when you uh, when you are starting a database through a startup command like a startup then you have to mention p file is equal to the path so that uh, your database can get started with the p file and also uh, as we know through p file you can create a uh, sp file and through sp file you can create a p file so there is no no uh, such issue that if you lose any one you cannot get the another one you can easily get it so p file is a different from p uh, p sp file is a different from p file in that it can be directly edited it uh, it cannot be directly edited because it has a header and folder that contains a binary value since you cannot change the sp file uh, oracle allow to manage a uh, sp file through uh, alter system command like uh, through command prompt you can execute alter commands and do the changes on your sp file parameter and that also have a similar values that p file contains so you can do that modification and uh, that can get uh, reflected uh, if uh, it can get reflected without doing the restart so there is a um, particular way of doing that like alter system set session is equal to 20 and then scope is equal to sp file there is a three way to do that uh, if you specify sp file then that changes will get uh, reflected to the uh, dynamic parameter and if you mention scope is equal to memory then that changes will get reflected only to the memory and if you mention scope is equal to both then that changes will get reflected to the p file as well as memory both so let's see that same thing on practicals like oh uh, i'll be connecting this database sql plus this is dba now we are connected we'll see that so parameter so parameter sp file if you are selecting this and you get this value it means 
your database is running with sp file if you uh, if you did not get any value it means your database is running with p file so in our case it's running with sp file and uh, let's see so para meter and db underscore name by this you can see the db name yes the value is orcl the string db name so this is the way that you can uh, see your uh, location of your p file and the db name so yeah this is the way to check that whether your database is running with p file or sp file for p file generally you 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 can create it also like uh, if you have a p sp file and if you don't have then you just you have to mention create p file p file from sp file by this you can create it so in my case i have already existing uh, p file so i am not creating it just i was showing it so thanks for watching till here